Happy Easter! We just uh, left church. Um, I didn't record on the way. I'm going to show you the traffic we're stuck in. This is leaving church, and it was packed. the The balcony was packed. Um, we and we got here. We got here at the same time we always do, but the parking lot was already getting full when we um, when we got here. Uh, but the balcony was packed, and I've never seen that many people on the balcony before. So we are just now getting to leave. But I'm not, I'm not complaining. It was good to see so many people there. And uh, happy Easter from the Duns. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin's driving. So um, I don't know what we're going to do today. What we'll get into. It's supposed to be a high of 75 degrees. So, and it's pretty warm right now. It's 70 right now, it says. So um, we'll just, uh, we don't have any plans to have dinner or anything. We've cooked out for the past two days. And, um... Normally, uh, we have dinner, but this year, uh, this year we just didn't plan anything. So, um, I, I will catch back up with you later. Um, last night when we were coming, when we were going to Target, Kevin saw three deer standing up, uh, probably right in this area, or a little bit further on. Um, but then when we were coming home, Target, I actually saw one of those deer crossing this bridge right here. Kevin had wondered, you know, how do they get on the road because there are fences keeping them from running into the road, and it's because they're apparently sneaking across these bridges at night, so I just think that's funny. He saw three of them standing just on the side of the road, and I'm glad I didn't see them because it makes me nervous anyway. Um, the thought of uh, hitting a deer. So, anyway, I just wanted to tell you that, that they, I thought it was neat that they were, well, it's not neat, it's kind of scary that they are crossing like the railroad bridge. We're playing Rummy on the front porch, and Kevin is kicking my butt. He has 360, I have 160. And we open the side window over here, and Guido, we put the chair next to the window, and Guido's up here right now. We had him on the front porch, uh, but he jumped down off the chair, and I don't want him to pee on the front porch on these chair legs, but Chapel's been up here in this window, too, and uh, they're, they're not having um, an easy time sharing the spot. Chapel doesn't like to share. Look, he's biting Guido's leg. He doesn't like to share. Chapel. He's trying to bite Guido. Chapel. Yeah, he does not like to share the space with me. I'm showing my cards because I don't think I've ever had this happen before. And I'm referring to this right here. So, anyway, um, just wanted to show that to you. I think it's interesting. Oh, and Kevin, I just doubt, and Kevin's already laid down this match, which <laughs> means that he's doing pretty well himself. Yeah, so I'm in trouble. Well, Kevin won Rummy. He got uh, <laughs> he got 510, and I only got 220. <laughs> and if you're wondering what this is, this is the calories I ate yesterday. This is from our cookout where we had the hamburgers and hot dogs. Um, these were the the two hot dogs, so that's the total. And then the 290 was for the um, the hamburger, and then 160 was for um, the hot dog buns, and then this, the 80 was for the hamburger bun. 30 I counted like for lettuce and tomato and stuff like that, plus I had a few bites of salad inside before we went out. 200 was for chips, which I was probably over that, but I just put that on there. 45 was for one slice of cheese. And then 160 was for a skinny cow I had for dessert. So that is, um, that just, I just wanted to show you that because I added it up last night because you have a lot of calories in a cookout. And I know most people probably don't eat two hot dogs like I did, but um, it, it was there in front of me. And when you're sitting there with your family at the table and the food's sitting there in front of you, you feel like you just want to keep eating more. You keep wanting to, you know, like once the bag of chips are open. You keep wanting to get 
More chips. I thought about getting chips right now. <laughs> Seriously. You see what Kevin brought out? The big boy over here. Does the big boy have a name? No, just a gun. Just a gun. And now Chapel's up in the window. Is Guido still up there? Yeah, he's sitting there. Oh, look. Guido's behind him. Poor baby. Oh, he Poor thing. He's insulted because I took him in. <laughs> Are you ready to go in? We can sit here if you want to. Yep. What? He walked up and didn't see those until then he's Oh, did it scare him? him? Guido gets easily scared on walks. <laughs> And they have a, this is the Methodist Church. They have Easter lilies out front in these pots. Those are really pretty. And a few nights ago, they did their crucifixion scene in the garden. And uh, so a few days ago, I showed you what the crosses look like. And I'll show you how they look today. Since they've had their thing. Let's see it up there. Trying to see. It's hard to see with all this sun, but. Yeah, these are so pretty. I like how they put the eggs around for Easter. Oh, yeah. And the bunny, see the bunnies? Those are pretty. And the pug is out of breath. We've killed him. See, Kevin, that's where that alley comes out. And they have flowers all around there, too. All around the side of the house. And they've done some gardening show you uh, this is one of the murals that someone is working on here in town uh, it says Winchester and there's a picture of the courthouse in the W and there's a cardinal I'm sure that's for the high school GRC there is an L8 bottle in the, beer the where do you see beer so cheese the um, I'm not sure what that is I see Leeds Theater in the R um, and then I see the in the T that is the um, the historical place, the museum. Um, so, so anyway, um, this is uh, they're working on this, and then I'm going to show you some that are completed. Um, but that in the W, the the top of the courthouse, you can actually see. I'm going to pan up here, and there's the top of it right there. So I'll probably show it to you again, maybe in a few months when they're finished with it. I don't know who's working on it and when. So um, and now we'll show you a different one. Okay, and here is one of the other murals. Um, this is on the side of the IGA building. Um, I don't know where these places were in Winchester. So. Um, Depot Street, probably, because there was a, uh, there used to be a, uh, train station right here, and you can see this whole, um, brick, uh, road has been redone, and they have the farmer's market down here now. Um, we've never been, but, um, usually we go to Lexington if we go to the farmer's market, but we haven't been to a farmer's market in a couple years now. This is the old feed store, and it's, uh, I think it's closed down now, um, a few years ago, but that, the railroad tracks ran in right there, and then came in, I don't know if Tammy showed this, but that's, uh, that's the front view of where the farmer's market is. You can see where the lights are and the plugs for everything, so people can plug stuff in, so, it looks pretty nice down here. Okay, and here is the feed store. Uh, I guess this is, where they, this is where they stored the grain. Um, but I think it's neat because it looks like a little house up there on top.
Okay. This is the third mural, and that is uh, Daniel Boone down there. And then that is Main Street. And that is the front of the courthouse. And that is just farmland. And this is all on the side of the True Value Hardware. And this is the back of the uh, hardware store. A lot of towns don't have hardware stores like this anymore if you have Lowe's, but, um, and we go to Lowe's too, so. Yay, look what's coming on. The Amazing Race. Kevin and I love the show.